Hi, I'm Roman and this is Massive Voodoo TV. Today I will explain the concept of true material damage to you, TMD. What is true material damage? TMD is another unnecessary abbreviation for our miniature hobby. In fact, true material damage tells you already what's going on. In 2013, I wrote a tutorial on the Massive Voodoo blog about this special topic. The nature behind this topic back then um, is that I've seen a lot of people paint damage, actually, like making scratches and then making um, um, a white bright line under it and something like that. And I thought to myself, let's do some true material damage. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can do that. And I will also explain to you what you have to think about the whys behind that to understand why you're doing something. It will be a combination about the content I wrote back then in the tutorial and also about the experience I've made in the last 10 years. Enjoy. All right. When it comes to material and tools, you just need a figure you want to add TMD to. Basically, a hobby blade, a clipper, and a hand drill. Optional, you can use a Dremel with some bits. There's a wide variety of bits for your Dremel. Regular ones, I found these in an old workshop of someone who built railroad trains for his full life. And these are super tiny and super special. Not sure where you can get such things, but keep an eye open um, of maybe having such a find. Of course, these are perfect for miniatures. To achieve the best fitting level of detail for the scale, I do recommend small drills to you. The one with your for your hand drill, for your hobby hand drill, might work fine, um, but there are smaller ones, for example, if you look into scale modeling. Anytime you do something where material gets ripped off or something can break, like a drill or something, always wear protection glasses to protect your eyesight. When we talk about the application, several things are important. First, how to use your tools. Second, when to use the right tool. And third, where to place the damage. I will show you the first two aspects, but for the third aspect, where to place it, you have to think. You have to imagine, where is this guy fighting? What is he fighting? What damage might occur to his armory? Where would these elements take damage and why is he scratching his shield along a cave or is he is he standing in the middle of a bullet rain is he a guy who runs away from bullets and has most of the damage in the back or is he a space marine and gets all the damage in the front because space marines never run away so think about where the damage is happening like is he a miner and is he working in a on a different planet in a mine and has to go into deep mining complexes and everything so that the, his armor might have scratches on all the edges of the armory because that's where he crushes the stone and where he connects with the stone. Think about these things. This is important because then you can create something realistic. For my Horus Heresy Space Marine in here in his armor, I decided to go for full front battle damage and true material damage. I will I will paint him as a Nurgle Death Guard, so um, also with some rust and streaking effects and everything. So there will be a lot of damage in the front of his armor. In the first step, I added bullet holes using my Dremel and a small drill. You can also do this with your hand drill if you don't have a Dremel. Take care to hold the miniature properly. If you're facing problems drilling into different shaped plastic, there's a hack. Use something with a very sharp tip, for example, a needle or something from school, from dividers. Like you need something with a sharp tip. Then press that tip, make a small hole where you want to drill later on, so the drill can connect with it and it will not dance around on your surface. Use 
you already can use the drill for different types of damage. You can either let it dance carefully on top of the surface, drill inside the material, or even kind of scratch over the surface like a glancing shot. I'm taking the opportunity to divide this video tutorial now. If you like what you see and if you have a thumb, press it, press it upwards. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel of Massive Voodoo TV. Enjoy! Take your hobby blade and remove the remains from the drilling part. The armor of my Nurgle Death Guard now has a lot of bullet holes, impact holes, but I'm not done yet. I'm taking my hobby blade to improve these bullet hits, to make them more realistic. Therefore I carefully cut edges and corners to the bullet hits. You can imagine it like a small star with like two or three lines. Use careful pressure and gentle force. I also use my hobby blade to damage some of the edges. Mainly, you see me mainly working on the front side of the model. Of course, in this example, I over exaggerated. I exaggerated the topic. A, it's Nurgle, and B, I want to demonstrate something. You can also do this with less damage and in a smaller amount. For the next steps, I'm using my Dremel with these tiny, tiny bits to damage the surface a little bit, but not with the look of bullet impacts. Just some scratches here and there and some minor damage to the surface. Important is to lose a low moment of force on your Dremel and then let the bit dance a little bit on top of the surface. You will get gentle damage to the surface, but sometimes less is more and really important is that you think where you place it. There is a wide variety of bits for your Dremel but it's not always necessary to use all of them, depending on the damage you want to create. Sometimes I also like to add some cables or something into such damaged parts. Important to know is that you also can do the true material damage to any kind of surface. It doesn't have to be Space Marine armor. It can be wood, it can be a weathered old wall, it can be a building, it can be a car, it can be anything. Just look in the real world, there is enough inspiration. I will soon give you some tips on how to paint your TMD. Unfortunately, I'm really bad in preparing and properly filming my painting process. So here's a little step-by-step -step progress with just music and afterwards when it gets to scratches and detail I will have some tips for you. Enjoy! Alright, right now we are at a point where it's important to take care of the damage. The first thing I do is making all my scratches and damages darker. Now it's important to understand how they are defined by a light situation that you paint on your miniature. You can find these examples in the real world. For example, this is a column in a post office where that is hit by senator light, fr light from the top. If you think about this in close detail, you will see that the light is coming from the top and if there's um, room for the light to to go inside then the lower edge will be highlighted um, depending on the angle of the scratch or something there might be the option that both 
um, edges will be highlighted. Quite easy if you think about it. This is how I proceed with all the edges and the damages. I work with a senator light here, a light from the top on, on the miniature. To finish the miniature and my TMD, I used some oil color to make some streaking grime here and there and also used some pigments on the legs. But this is actually a topic for a complete new video about weathering stuff and such like that. So this is it. True material damage. I think the most important thing is that you think about where you place it and what kind of damage and how you can achieve with which tools you can achieve this kind of damage. For example, a scratch from a monster with a claw looks different than a bullet impact. A thrust with a sword looks different. So think about these things. Thank you very much for watching the video till the end. If you enjoyed this content, press a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about this beautiful channel over here. Thank you very much. Roman out. Keep on happy painting. Bye bye. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up! It's time to look. It will be a combination about the tutorial I wrote back then and my experience I've made in the last 20, 20 years. 20, 20 years. In the last 20 years. Well, what is meant by true material damage? <clears throat> Some things with my voice today. What's going on with my voice? <clears throat> Maybe coffee.